Hi, my name is Fatima, and I'm here to have a TED Talk with Michael Tilson Thomas. We're going to be discussing his thesis, Music and Emotion Through Time. Um, I feel like Mr. Thomas uh, immediately related to the audience by um, making his topic, Music and Emotion Through Time, um, relatable through a personal uh, connection he had with his father, whose also name was Ted. His father was hearing impaired and he was a self-taught illustrator and musician and he was able to relate to the topic of emotions and music by tying in the emotions he had um, and the connection he had to his father being a musician himself and his, all of the achievements that his father made um, so he he intertwined all that through you know, expressing the gratitude and the, um, you know, emotions he had that his father showed through his composition and through his work. I feel like he engaged his audience through the personal memories that he had. He also was able to have us relate to music and emotions by allowing us to remember that we usually tie an emotional experience to music like all of us can say can hear a piece of music and say oh my god I remember when you know or, oh my god I remember where I was at that time and place when you hear that music music is also used in film to you know bring out emotion um, if you want to make something more dramatized if you want to make something sad or happy they tend to use music to bring out those emotions out of the audience which um, is what he was, you know, making sure we got out of, you know, and that's what he was relating to us through his topic. Um, he also used images. Um, he spoke about notation and encoding of music and how it was used in the 1800s and how it's presently used. He showed us images of, of, of noting and encoding back in the 1800s and he showed us the evolution of it through imagery. Um, and as not being a composer myself, I felt like that was very helpful to me because I was able to visualize and understand what he was saying. Um, I feel like his images and his, his, his topic tied into, you know, allowing us to have emotional attachment to what he was expressing in his topics, which was exactly what he was, you know, what's his, what his whole thesis was about. I feel like um, as far as um, the commandments, I felt like that shall have God-like knowledge of your universe was one of the, which was number five, commandment number five. I felt like he expressed that really well. I felt like he had, he was very knowledgeable about his topic. He showed his knowledge through, um, you know, by giving us uh, examples and by giving us information that was very um, ancient and then relating it to the present time today. Um, he was very informative in in his topic in in showing us visually also how to relate to what he was talking about as far as tying emotions into music um, and how it related the, to the change that it took in time. I also feel like number nine he, thou shalt dramatize and exposition, you know, I felt like he really put in a lot of details and background work into his topic. He really did the research in order to give a clear presentation and to make sure that it was, there was a lot of clarity in what he was saying. I felt like he was very, um, he, he was, it was a very, you know, effective tool. Um, as far as the tips that he used from Durante and um, Reynolds, I felt like Reynolds, he, he um, used very striking and large images to get his point across. As far as Durante, I feel like he made things very visually dramatizing. I felt like he used the right images to express his topic. Um, what, I would, what I would take and what I would remember is timing and imagery. I felt like he brought in the images at the right time at the right place and that his timing was great. I felt like his images were very memorable and that they will always stick with me and that's what I hope to incorporate in my presentation. Thank you.